peso box Nandito po tayo ngayon sa House of Congress uh, para po sa motorcycle taxi issues The hearing is headed by uh, Honorable Edgar Mary S. Sarmiento the House Chair on Committee on Transportation.
Ah, real time niya. Ano din pala? My nurse. Hindi ito. Six minutes. One hundred back for me. Nine hundred. Ay ta. Six hundred. Nine hundred ba? Nine hundred din. Lakas ng show. Lakas ng show. One hundred.
it's uh, exactly 9.30. I am now calling the meeting to order. I request each and every one please stand up for our invitation. I request uh, Papu Zipalanda for a short prayer. Almighty God the Father, thank you for calling us again today as one body. As we begin this year with the conduct of meetings, we pray that you continue to bless us with wisdom and courage to address the pressing problems of our transport sector. Compel us by your spirit to act justly and humbly with you, and that all our actions may be marked in kindness and decency, especially towards those who are most vulnerable among us. May we always serve you with honor and sincerity, that we may merit our approval through our constituents and deserve to bring you glory. Let us also pray in silence for all those affected by the other volcano eruption and for the safe travel and plenary session of the members of the House in Batangas Convention Center. This we pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you so much.
Hindi kasi Sir George Proyeka and Mr. David
Ito po ay nagsimula itong tinatawag natin na pilot project. Dahil po sa ginawa na batas, no? sinabita dito House Bill 8595. Ayan po, makikita natin. Ano? Ito po ay ginawa ng 17th Congress sa third regular session. Specific date, March 11, 2019. Pagkatapos po, nagkaroon po ng tinatawag na technical working group. Kanya lang, gusto kong magpipakita sa inyo dito po sa tinatawag natin na 8595, saan po bumabagsak ang importante-importante na patay. Nasa section 8 po ito. At papasahin po natin. Ang sinasabi sa section 8, specific po, 8595, papasahin natin yung titulo ng batas, ano? The Proposed House Bill. Ito po ay Consolidated Bill, iba-ibang author, ang titulo po ang Act Allowing and Regulating the Use of Motorcycles as Public Utility Vehicles. Amending for this purpose, Republic Act 4136, otherwise known as the Land Transportation and Traffic Code and for other purposes. Itong Section 8 sa gagamit na batas, Prescribing of routes. Anong sinasabi? In prescribing routes, the Department of Transportation, the ODR, and the LTFRD shall give priority to higher capacity vehicles or mass transit system in accordance with crop rationalization studies. Kaya kung mapapansin mo, mapapansin ng uh, mamamayan, ang tama na po sa leadership ni Speaker Alan Peter Cayetano. Nag-usap-usap po kami na sana ito po pinakamagandang, pinakamagandang, pinakamagandang regalo po sa mamamayan. Kaya ginagawa po natin ngayon ang tinatawag na consolidation ng buses. Magkakaroon po ng centralized, synchronized dispatching system. Sana magawa natin ngayon first quarter ng taon ito. Pagpatuloy po natin, ano? sinasabi po rito, Motorcycles for hire may be allowed to operate for a limited period and with limited number of units and specific routes only as may be determined by DOTR and LTFRB. Pagkatapos po nitong house bill, nagkaroon po ng technical working group. Ayan na po. Ayan ang composition. May taga DOTR, may membro ng Kamara, may membro ng Senado. Dahil, sa, dahil po rito sa technical working group, bumawa po ng Department of the Department of Transportation, pinirmahan po noong Mayo 8, 2019. Anong sinasabi rito sa Department Order? Sinasabi po, number one, areas of implementation. Dapat lang po ang pilot implementation ay sa Metro Manila, at Metro Cebu. Iwanagin po natin ito. Pangalawa po, nilagyan nila ng safety requirements. Maliwanag. Dapat ang maximum speed. Ayan, nakikita ninyo. Maliit lang, ano? Hindi ko na lang pag-iisa-isahin. Dapat tatakbo lang sila ng maximum speed na 60 kilometers. No? At saka yung data sharing, sinasabi rito, the pilot implementation should run on the motorcycle ride hailing apps based platform. Ito, ano po? Ngayon, anong sinasabi rito? Sinasabi rito, dapat anin na buwan po ang pilot testing or pilot project. At, nakalagay rin dito, ang numero, ang sinasabi, participating riders, total, ang sinabi nila, 27,000. Kaya, ang dyan po ang numero ng 27,000 na yan. Ang naging problema po, ito, iisa lang ang pumasok na player. 
Kaya paano mo ngayon bibigyan ng pag-aaral kung iisa lang ang andyan na nakapasok? Yan po ang istorya. Pagkatapos po nito, no? ayan na, nagkaroon na sana ng tinatawag na reporting ng prayer. Then, pumasok na ang susunod na issue, yung evaluation report, pumasok na rin, matatapos na yung pilot study o project noong December. Ang sumunod na, nagkaroon ng gilos ulit. Kasi ito ay 17 progress pa ito. Kaya dito po tayo lahat. Kasi papasa po ngayon ang mga house bill sa committee ito. Papasahin po nila para naman magkaroon ulit tayo ng technical working group sana. Kanya lang, nauna na po si DOTR. Ang ginawa nila, in-extend nila ng 3 months. Pero somewhere in between, Nakatanggap po kami ng sulat kay Secretary Art Tugade noong no January 20 ng lunes na tiniterminate na po nila ang technical working group ng Tagulo na. Ngayon, dito sa Committee on Transportation sa Kamara, ang huling issue po at huling naganap ay noong lunes lang sa Senado. Maraming tanong, walang masyadong naisagot. Dito naman siguro sa kamara magkakaroon tayo ng sagot at solusyon. Iyon po sana ang importante natin na gagawin ngayon. Hindi lang po kami makakatagal kasi dapat po ipumalis kami dito ng alas 11. But I want to make this a very short and a very productive committee hearing with an end result to help and to make sure to pacify issue so that those people who really needs the services of either ANCAS or other companies relevant to transportation will be clearly addressed. Alam niyo po, sa Committee on Transportation, ang numero uno po at importante sa atin ay ang mananakay. The utmost consideration really are the writing public. As of the moment, the problem really is a public transportation system. Ginagawa na po ngayon train, may bago na po for the first time. Andiyan na po sa ang tanong, kaya lang to mag-operate. Ginagawa po po. Bakit po mapasok ng motorsiklo? Kasi may urgency. Masyadong maraming sasakyan sa kalsada. Wala nang nakakatakbo lahat na sa sakripisyo. Kaya dito sa kamara, nag-uusap-usap kami. Kagaya po ng sata. Halos lang sinasabi kailangan natin as of the moment itong klase na sasakyan na ito. Dito naman sa sinasabi natin na solusyon, bago po natin gawa, ilagay po natin sa tama. Unahin na bumuna natin ang una-unang agenda ang TNC, ang TNBS kung saan may siyang bomb house bill na nakatenga rito. Kanya lang yung ibang mga authors ang doon na po nauna na sa Patangas. Kaya may gagawin ng kamara, sana i-consider ng lahat ng membro. I will plead to the members of the House of Representatives if we can consider allowing in mass motion sana. Ipasa na natin muna. Tutal dadaan naman ito sa ibang-ibang proseso. Uh, Mr. Chair, yes, I, move, sir. I move that the, the TWG will be formed to consolidate and discuss the conflicting provision of the relevant house measures on TNBS and uh, nominate the Rep. Uh, Biazon as a chairperson of the TWG. Before, before, before we pass on the motion, allow me first to read individually the different house bills stated herein para naman klarong klaro po, no? Dito po sa issue ng TNBS, mayroon po tayong siya na house bill na ipapasa at papasahin ko po isa-isa to put it on record. House bill number 
1260. Title and act, recognizing transport network companies and transport network vehicle service, describing requirements and guidelines for their operation. The author of the term, I am Deputy Speaker, the C. Honorable Luis Raymond L. Ray Villaverde, Jr. House Bill Number 2, House Bill Number 1538, an act regulating transportation network services, imposing and authorizing fees, providing penalties for violation thereof, and other purposes. Ang author po dito ay si Honorable Alfredo Galvi at si Honorable Elisalde Co. House Bill Number 3341. Ang title po, an act providing the mandatory installation of dashboards, cameras, closed-circuit television, and global positioning system. Ang author naman po dito ay si Honorable Bernadette Herrera B. Number 4, House Bill Number 3690. Title po, an act requiring, requiring transportation network companies to install closed-circuit television. Ang author po nito ay si Honorable Precious uh, Ipolito Castello ng Quezon City. House Bill Number 4024, an act regulating transportation network service imposing authorizing fees, authored of course by the Honorable Representative Rosano Rufino Biazon. House Bill Number 4725, pang-anin po ito. An act recognizing transportation network companies, prescribing requirements, a guideline, standard. Ang author na naman po dito si Sinorape Precious Simbolito Pastel. Number 7, House Bill Number 5748. Authored po dito, ang author ay si Sarah J. Ilago. Si Franz Castro at sa kasi representante Arlin Rosas. Ito pong House Resolution ay 43. Ang titulo po, Resolution, urging the House Committee on Transportation to grow into reported irregularities in procedures of application and registration of transport network. And finally, number nine, House Resolution number 444. Ang titulo po, Resolution directing the Committee on Transportation to conduct an inquiry in aid of legislation on the status of acceptance of new application for transport network company accreditation. Authored again by uh, the Honorable Rosano Rufino Piazza. Ayan po, Chef and House Bill. So, there is a motion for us to approve in motion. In mass motion, the Chef Bill. Did you second it? The uh, motion is approved. There's a motion as well for us to create a technical working group to be headed by the Honorable Rufino Tamaba. Okay, uh, please do nominate. Mr. Chair, I move to nominate uh, Congressman Lucina Gutierrez for uh, the technical working group relevant to TNC, TNBS. The Honorable Rufino Piazza is requested to chair. He accepted. Maraming salamat. Motion is approved. We go right away on the second agenda, ito motorcycle taxi. Now, I just want to make an announcement. Kahapon po, si Speaker Alam Peter Cayetano. Nag-uusap po kami sa opisina niya. Ang sabi niya, kailangan sa committee hearing ito magbigyan lunas at magbigyan solusyon ng mga issues. Kahapon po ay nagpatawag ng meeting si Secretary Tungate sa tatlong kumpanya na kasama ata sa pilot project. At nag-uusap po kami po. Kanya lang yung pinag-usapan namin, alam niyo, kaya hindi po namin masasabi sa publiko to allow the members to ask in confidentiality ang mga issues. By that, siguro, there are two ways of doing a hearing. 
One by public, another one in executive session. I find it necessary for us to come up with the solution of the different issues to allow ourselves to have an executive session. If everybody is in agreement, we have to do this now so that we can ask the pertinent question and right away, maybe we can do so, announce in public the end result of what happened or what will be happening in the executive session. Are we in agreement? Yes, sir. Mr. Chair, may I just inquire? Yes. The rationale behind conducting an executive session, because this is a public issue involving also the right to vote. And unless there are really competitive reasons to hold an executive session, then I think it's imperative that uh, this issue be uh, fully ventilated openly. Much as I want to, to answer the Narukozarate, much as I want to open the issue, so I there are, the meeting was between the Secretary of Transportation, the three players, and there might be some questions that we'll be asking that needs to be answered in confidentiality. The reason why, as much as I want this to be open to public, anyway, if ever deemed necessary, we will announce it after for the consumption of the public. And I hope that the Honorable Sanity will understand the pleading of the Chairman. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. So, uh, the understanding is uh, in, the commit, uh, in the executive session, uh, the DOTR and the uh, Stakeholders who attended the meeting will disclose. Yes, the, I have to allow them. You have to allow them to disclose the result of it, whatever meeting that they have. And after that, we can announce this to the public. Yes, we can do so. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you so much. Under that, under that, uh, caveat. Thank you so much for your kind of understanding, Mr. Chair. Yes, Mr. Chair. Yes, Mr. Chair. Yes, Mr. Chair. Yes, There's a motion for a second. Second motion. Second is Julie. Second. Executive session, uh, motion is approved. Give us uh, another room for uh, reserve us. We have six for executive session so that we can uh, answer the issues, yes. So may I request executives from the DODR and the three companies who are there during the meeting to please go with us so that the members can ask the pertinent question. Thank you so much.